Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Karishma Kagod, Certified Plastic Surgeon practicing in Bangalore. Today I'm going to talk to you about a case of rhinoplasty uh, I performed on a young girl who was in her late 20s and I'm going to discuss what her concerns were, what was the plan of surgery and what was the outcome. So let's head to see what were the patient concerns. So this patient came to me and uh, she, her main concern was that she had her hump which is present on the top of her nose or the bridge of her nose and her side profile view is something she wanted corrected. Uh, second is in the front view of the patient, she had a slightly broader nose bone and she wanted to narrow the width of her nasal bones. The third point is that she felt that her nose tip was very broad, it was very bulky or like what we call boxy and she wanted to refine her nose tip and make it look a little more sharper, a little more smoother and a little more narrower. When we look at the basal view of her nose, you can see that the area between her nostrils are slightly dipping or they are hanging down and uh, she wanted that the nose tip should be sitting in the midline because it is slightly shifted to the right side. She wanted that the bottom of a nose sits straight and the basal view of a nose ideally should look like an equilateral triangle and that is what uh, she wanted she wanted a perfect looking nose uh, looking at her oblique profile again you can notice the very conspicuous hump on the bridge of the nose you can notice that her nose tip is quite broad and she also has a hanging of this portion of the nose this is called as the columella and it is the area between the two nostrils which should ideally stand upright and look um, like a, in a slightly standing position so we had a detailed consultation with the patient. We did a 3D simulation of the patient trying to show her approximately what her before and after image could be and what she can expect after the surgery. And we decided to go ahead with an open tip rhinoplasty. We did an open tip rhinoplasty. Uh, then it, we decided to narrow the nasal bones. We decided to remove the hump on the bridge of the nose. We decided to narrow the tip of the nose, reduce the bulkiness on the nose tip, refine the nose tip and create a more a sharper, smaller and a defined nasal profile. So let's take you to what we see and how the patient looks eight months after a rhinoplasty surgery. Now you must know that the initial healing phase of a rhinoplasty usually is about four to six weeks. Whether it is a closed rhinoplasty or an open tip rhinoplasty like this one, it will take about three to four weeks for the majority of the swelling to settle and you will start seeing the results get better and better within three to four months. So I have taken a picture of this patient eight months after the surgery and here you can have a look at the before and after image you are seeing the dorsal hump getting corrected and seeing a more sharper and a straight side view nasal profile you can see how the bottom of this nose has slightly lifted up to give her a good nasolabial angle and we are also noticing how the drooping of the nose tip is now corrected and she has a more upturned and a sharper tip nose in the front profile, we can see that we have narrowed the nasal bones and got it to look more straighter. Her, her nose profile is now looking more straight. It is more looking uh, refined. Her nose tip, which is so boxy here, is now looking more sharper, more smaller. And so is the ala rims. The ala rims have also been reduced by making a tiny cut at the base of this ala. And her overall nose profile in the front view, uh, she's looking like uh, she's looking more slimmer, and the nose is looking slimmer, and it is suiting her uh, facial profile. In the oblique view, we can see the dorsal hump. And that is absolutely gone and she has an absolutely straight nose her nose tip no more looks broad it is extremely fine and sharp in the bottom view we are seeing the scar of the rhinoplasty all of you are very concerned about the scar so here have a look at this scar and this is around eight months later and you can hardly notice the scar and it is usually at the bottom of the nose when someone is looking straight you're not going to notice the scar this scar is a tiny v-shaped scar which is going sideways and the rest of the scar is inside the nose and it becomes very less conspicuous 
after about a few months and you can hide it with makeup we provide you with scar creams and you can see how her nose profile is the uh, nose profile in the basal view was looking broad it was turned slightly to the right side and now it is absolutely straight in unison with the bridge of the nose and the entire nose base profile looks like a good equilateral triangle something which is very ideal in terms of the nasal aesthetics so as you have seen an open tip rhinoplasty and what the before and after results can be you must understand that it is an absolutely safe procedure uh, this procedure was done under general anesthesia anesthesia is absolutely safe and you must know that if you are looking to achieve a change in your nose profile you must do your research find your plastic surgeon make sure you see their before and after images you are convinced with the kind of results they are going to provide to you and uh, we hope that dr karishma aesthetics is the place for the nose surgery for you if you want to know more subscribe to our youtube channel dr karishma aesthetic and make sure you hit that bell icon in order to get all the latest updates and videos